good afternoon everyone uh, i am not at delhi it's just now am i audible sir am i audible no, very much yes sir very much very yes, much sir. उट दपोज इंटरवेंशन और दपोज मेमोरेंडम बिटवीन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जस्टिस एंड नालसा एज वी आर we are on same page and we are sailing in same boat so why not be together so this is a collaborative approach just to serve uh, our fellow citizens and our approach must be how could we serve in a most befitting and better manner you see at uh, three programs we are cooperating with each other firstly is the tally law and we have to take this tally law program to a new high this is first objective of nalsa with uh, uh, full cooperation from all dlss and slss we will take it to new height second is nyay uh, bandhu uh, the pro bono scheme uh, as you are aware honorable executive chairman nalsa has categorically stated in uh, his lordship's keynote addresses at several places that uh, uh, it is duty of, of the Uh, law professionals to come forward and uh, uh, return something to the society and uh, so that they can engage themselves with the uh, legal services institution and they can return uh, uh, whatever they got from the society again yeah. back to the society so second pro- uh, program would be uh, nyay bandhu and third is legal awareness program at present today the meeting is only for tally law uh, i think the team at uh, csc and doj they will explain you uh, about the uh, intricacies and, and uh, the methodology and the sops of of this tally law program uh, we have to provide two things firstly Uh, the panel lawyer at each DLSA. For that purpose, we are already in process of issuing guidelines to you that how the panel lawyer has to be selected under the project. At every DLSA, there there will be a panel lawyer, and that panel lawyer mm-hmm. is available in your DLSA, the front office of DLSA, uh, for at least four to five hours per day. if somebody doesn't want to be there in front office you need not have to engage him as a panel lawyer you see one who want to serve he will remain uh, with us if he doesn't want to serve okay say bye bye namaste tell him uh, our our things are clear and our terms are clear at the key 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 uh, key uh, for services is the beneficiary first the litigant first approach we want to serve on uh, to that beneficiary on instant advice basis this would be called a uh, legal advice in uh, the insta legal advice at front offices so uh, we can uh, uh, launch a hashtag insta insta legal advice so this this also we can say, uh, we, we can do and uh, the another thing is that the front office must have internet connectivity and also uh, the video conferencing facility that is if possible you must have all in one in your front office so that uh desktop portal can be accessed from that all in one so option of connecting through mobile is also available but <coughs> this will add to the services so these are two things which required to be done and third one is of, of course supervision you see uh from uh, last two years 
or last two and half years when uh, we are being faced with uh, this pandemic our performance has improved like anything meaning thereby in odd situation we can do better wherever there are constraints we are performing well so this is another a big project and likelihood that uh, in the month of june sometime the uh, formal mou between doj and nalsa is going to take place and under the pro project the uh, retainer lawyer will be paid 15000 rupees a month moreover we have also um, requested you to have a reserve list if any retainer lawyer on a particular day is not available then this, uh, this supplement must be there you see the services will not going to be halted or interrupted due to non availability of any of the retainer so this is another thing which we have to keep uh, keep in our mind before engaging any of retainer lawyer baki and, and rest of other things which um, csc people and the doj team will explain you nothing is from my my side anything more is required will definitely get back to you 